Nossa! Essa. Can you guess the meaning of the phrases? I had to do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn that up and uh, post to so hear <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. So welcome to this part of the, of the uh, podcast where we're playing another game. And this time it is uh, the phrases, as you heard. <clears throat> All right. On this one, if you've been to uh, Ireland, you probably hear them say a lot of things that sound like English words, but it makes no sense. So the point of this is that we might, I'm, I'm going to name off some phrases because we do plan to go to Ireland one day, right? Oh, yeah. I would love to go to yeah. Dublin. So that's I why would we, love to. That's why we won't look like total dumbasses when they say something. That's we, if I even remember the ones you've already told me. <laughs> We need to go when we go there. We just need to watch um, all of the phrases videos that we put up. Like I said, some hold on. I, we got a video on that. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> just give us ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna. Uh, so so I'll, I have a, a phrase and then I can put it in a sentence. Okay. And that'll, that'll help you guys out. Okay. <clears throat> so the first one is racked. So I'm too tired to think about it. Or I, Oops, I messed that one up. <laughs> I was about to say, I already know what that one is. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to guess it means tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, okay, so this one will be foundered. So, did we already do foundered? We did foundered. Did we do it? We had done foundered. Well, you're flabbergasted. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're, yeah. No, that was that was that. No, that, no, that wasn't. I mean, we probably did it, but that's the wrong meaning of it. Well, no, yeah, I'm probably okay, getting yeah. it wrong. Yes, but did, I'm pretty sure we already did it. Did we do divvy? No. no, that we haven't. All right, so divvy. So it feels a little divvy to bury myself in covers like that. Uh, I want to say too soon. Too soon. What do you think, William? I'm going to say um, it means too much. It means overdone. It means, um, yeah, I, I don't know how, what else, how else to say it. It just means too much. That's a good answer. But you guys didn't get it right. Oh. Did you just, when they say it, it just means silly. Oh, well, oh. well that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so that's Divi. So the next one is in tatters. So they would say in tatters. So I, if I don't, if I don't do though, I'll be in tatters come morning. Uh, I'll be a mess. Or I'll 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 be, yeah, like I I just I won't feel complete or something like that or along the lines of that so you say you'll, you don't feel in you, you feel incomplete or something of, of those like oh I, I if, if i don't do it then i'll i won't i won't uh I feel like you forgot something yeah yeah yeah, yeah. can you re, uh, repeat the sentence yeah if i don't do though i'll be in tatters come morning I've heard people talk like that in the movies. Yeah. I have too. I'm really not too sure. Um, I'm going to go with um, tired. Tired? Yeah, I'm just going to go with tired. You guys, Exhausted. You guys got the gist of it, but uh, they meet, when they do it, uh, when they say it, it's a little bit more of a, of a stronger meaning than that. They mean, when they say it, they mean destroyed. Oh, so you're on the right vibe. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna give that to you guys because because uh, the sentence doesn't um, really help with it. Really help with it feeling that that made the sense. The sentence seemed light-hearted compared to the meaning of that word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in tatters means destroyed. Okay. When they Which, just said, "If I don't do though, I'll be in tatters come morning." Like, well, that's, I guess that's something they might say. But but yeah. I'm gonna give you guys the point for that one. So so mm-hmm. William gets. Yeah, they could have said. Um, when she left me, she really tattered. Left me in tatters, or something. Yeah, like left that. me in tatters. Yeah. 
That would have been. When better. she broke up with me, she really left me in tatters. Yeah, and I've Something heard like that, that. And I've heard uh, Americans talk like that too. Yeah. Okay. All right. The other one is uh, scundered. <laughs> what? That sounds awesome. That's not a word. Scundered. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, and that's not. Yeah. Well, it, it's a. It's probably not a word for them either, but they use it. But it's it's an Irish phrase. Gundered. So it's something that we wouldn't know what they're saying. Mm-hmm. Um, but here, here's a sentence for okay. it. Um, mm-hmm. It's nothing to go get scundered about. Just a guy out on the lash until late. Remember we worried talked about, about Oh, that's right, on, on the, the lash. lash. Yeah. yeah, I remember Nothing that. to get worried about. I think it means worried. Pretty close. <laughs> oh, you don't have to get the help. Jesus knows now I got it well, wrong. Well, no, I was going to think the same thing, but... Nah, see? Nothing to get your panties in a bunch for. <laughs> That's the same thing as worried. Panties in a bunch means worried. Don't lose your shit! That means... Oh, no, that doesn't mean worried. Yeah, that means worried too, man. <laughs> No, not really. Uh huh. Awkward. It just means <laughs> don't not, lose your shit. That means you no. Don't. It just means not to go crazy. Don't don't with get, worry. Don't no. <laughs> just saying. So Jesus thinks it means worried also. <laughs> More worried. No, I don't know. What do you mean? What do you think it means? What do you think it means, Jesus? Like, don't no no. Uh, I guess in in a, in a sense it's worried. I guess it's nothing to get it's nothing to get scundered about. Upset. It's just a guy out on the lash until late. Upset. That's what I wanted to go with. You gonna go with worried? Yeah, why not? Okay, so we both think it's worried. Well, the the actual meaning is embarrassed. Oh, oh. We were really close. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's why I said you were close. Mm-hmm. The vibe, you guys. So I even, I even would have been wrong too, though, if I said upset. Because mm-hmm. embarrassed does not mean upset. No, it yeah. doesn't. Yeah, we got one point. All right, so which leaves me with four, Chris with three, and was, Jesus with one. So that was uh, three games. That was two games. Now two it's games. my game. Okay, my game. <laughs> my games. <laughs> my games. <laughs> Uh, next with me, and we don't know what to do with me because I was not prepared this week, and I did not make any alive with sound. So we're just gonna go with annoying William. So <coughs> we're going to annoy William. That's it. It's not knowing William. It's knowing. It's annoying William. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy to Am do. Am I quick to annoy? No, but <laughs> I bet you that could annoy Let's you. Let's see who could annoy William <laughs> first. Possible. You guys want to hear the most annoying <laughs> sound in the world? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you guys are hearing little explosions in our mics, it's the Fourth of July, and people are already letting off their fireworks. Yeah, and as we their money as we're recording this yeah. podcast. It this is, is yeah. a Fourth of July podcast. Awesome. Yeah, but you guys won't be watching it on Fourth of July. Sorry. So, for the people that watch it after, Happy Fourth of July. Happy yeah. late Fourth of July. Whatever. See you next game. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have any music for knowing Jesus uh, or knowing William or knowing anything. You can just go with this. I don't know nothing. Da, 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 da. Okay. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the games. This is Knowing William. 